Hi everyone. In this video clip, I will be discussing about incremental data loading in Databricks. Before we get started with the technical concept of incremental data loading, let us consider a scenario to better understand the concept. If suppose there is one folder and onto this folder, let us say, a file is written. Now the requirement is like, as soon as the file is landed here, we should be loading the data from this file into the Databricks platform. Let us consider this to be the Databricks platform. So as soon as the file arrives here, we should be loading this data to the Databricks platform so that using the Databricks solutions, I can process that data. So this is nothing but general data loading concept that we are speaking about. Fine, maybe we will be writing uh, one uh, simple Databricks related program using the Databricks uh, syntax and all, let us say, okay, we have the Databricks program and uh, that will be loading our data to the Databricks platform. Most probably it is a table. Okay, we have to load the data into table, Databricks table, fine. Next, what if one more file is arriving into this folder? Now to copy this data, again, we have to run the Databricks program that can load data from this folder onto the Databricks table. Our general understanding here is that since we have already copied this data, this time we should be copying only the newly arrived data. So this is nothing but the concept of incremental data loading. When we are loading the data from one place to other place, we don't copy the data that is already processed or already copied onto the destination. Only the unloaded data, only the data that is newly arriving, that data we are going to copy it onto the destination. In our case, the Databricks table. Fine. So this is all about the incremental data loading concept. If we little bit dive into the details of this scenario, we can think of here the kind of the data that may be coming into these files. Okay, I will take maybe a very simple example. Let us say in our first file, that orange file that I was mentioning you, let us consider maybe some customer details were there like the customer ID and customer first name was there. Let us consider that. Accordingly, I have written your uh, Databricks program and it is loading the data considering that in the file we have two fields or two columns that is the customer id and the first name things should be fine and in the table we should be having corresponding uh, column names like customer id and the first name or our exactly two columns will be there with other names if required right but what's the problem here the problem will be with respect to the data that may come later, right? The new file arrived case we were taking the, let us say in that file, okay? Customer ID is there, F name is there. Along with that, we do have the last name also, let us suppose. So then what will happen? 
but you would like to load the data into the same table the table is same the table that is containing the maybe customer details into this table you have already loaded some data and that data has only two columns customer id and first name now again the requirement is that new set of data is arrived and we have to load this data to the table but then there is schema mismatch in our destination table the schema is having two columns but in the newly arrived uh, our data we have uh, three columns so this is nothing but the the case of schema being changing which we call as schema is evolving the schema is evolving so our databricks program should be written in such a way that it is going to take care of the schema changes that may happen that's where right we would like to retain the old schema the first two columns that are there and also we should be accepting the newly arrived column as well there's nothing but we need here merging of the schemas schema is evolving and how do we deal with the schema evaluation that is through the merging of the schemas so that in my table along with my customer id and first name i'm also going to have the last name as well how is that possible okay here what will happen is it is true that initially only customer id and some first name is there but when for the second time right when we would like to load the data the newly arrived data if at all there is a additional column to it what will happen is a new column is added to the table and and the new record is written maybe some customer id some first name some last name but for the previous record we don't have value for the last name so here null is updated here the null value is updated so that way incremental data loading is handled along with the schema management so databricks offers out of the box solutions for uh, loading the data from source uh, source to the sink for our databricks sink is nothing but our databricks table so then what options we have in databricks databricks provides us two solutions to handle the incremental data loading one is copy into the other one is auto loader but in between i am mentioning spark structure streaming also but auto loader is nothing but the wrapper on the spark structure streaming so majorly for incremental data loading in databricks we have two solutions copy into an auto loader before we pick on how these are going to work let us look at what should be characteristics of any incremental data loading solution any incremental data loading solution should be capable of loading the data as soon as the data is arriving and it should be processing only the newly arrived data and it should also ensure that we are not missing any new data and whatever solution that we have for incremental data loading we should be able to use it multiple times with maybe different other file formats and all the same incremental data loading solution that i use for loading csv files i should be able to load the parquet files also json files also so that repeatability or reusability should be there and the incremental data loading so solution should be scalable what's the meaning of it in the real world the amount of the data that we may have to 
load may be very huge millions of records will be there and uh, maybe it's more than hundreds of gigabytes and all right so irrespective of the kind of the file or irrespective of the volume of the data that we have our solution should be working perfect so that is you should be able to scale fine and whatever solutions databricks gives they satisfy these conditions but then why we have two here let us look one after the other first let us take up the copy into solution of databricks you should be opting for copy into when you have very small number of files one second when you have small number of files maybe few thousands or less than few thousand of files then you should opt for copy into and one more is you should opt for copy into when you are loading the data in bulk for example let us say every day one file is generated and at the end of the day that file should be loaded to the databricks table so that is the ideal scenario for maybe considering the copy into solution of databricks it can copy the data from different cloud storages like azure blob storage azure data lake aws s3 into the delta table all those properties that we uh, discussed the incremental data loading characteristics are satisfied by the copy into it loads only the new files it is going to detect the schema automatically and it works with different variety of the files on top of it one more interesting and favorable fact is that this copy into can be performed using sql syntax so this is part of databricks sql solution so here when you go about loading the data into the delta lake table from the let us say maybe cloud storage we have two options to choose from one second one is you don't care for the schema okay you load the data into the schema less delta lake table so how is that possible that's possible through this way in the databricks first you will be creating a table but you see our table definition is ending here itself we are not defining any schema for this table so this is nothing but the placeholder table we say because in this table definition we are not providing any schema later we will be using the databricks copy into command copy into command to load data into this table copy into the name of the table and from from is again the keyword keyword and you will be mentioning your source folder location after that to your copy into command you should be telling what kind of files you are loading is it json file is it csv file so that's nothing but we mention it through the file format key value pair here so file format is a standard okay fixed keyword and for format you will be mentioning this standard again right json csv parquet arrow like that you can quote it and we need not use the uh, quotation here it is simply json or it is simply csv are to say we don't put these in quotes please remember that syntax next is what 
our incremental data loading system should be capable of adjusting the schema. So that's why uh, we mentioned two more properties here. One using the format options and the other one using the copy options. So one for the source end, right? While reading the data from the files to merge the schema across the files, we use this merge schema equals to true. And this copy option is while writing, okay, while writing the data at the target, we are again asking to merge the schemas. Okay, the older schema should get combined with the newly arrived schema. So that's the options we have here. Fine. So today we have seen the conceptual part of what is data loading, what is incremental data loading, what are the characteristics of the incremental data loading, and what options we have for incremental data loading in Databricks. And we took glance at the copy into feature of the Databricks. In my next video, I will be discussing about the ants on part of it. So how do we implement this copy into in Databricks? Stay tuned. Thank you.